Gemini's. Hey, hey, hi, hi. <laughs> it's your girl here, Miss Hawaii. And this is your general love reading for December 24th of 2021. It is Christmas tomorrow. So Merry Christmas to everybody that celebrates the holiday. Enjoy this time with your family, your loved ones. Those of you who are in separation with your family and loved ones or don't have anybody, know that I'm here. And I'm going to try to go live tomorrow for my people because I know there's a lot of people who just don't have family or kind of lonely for the holidays. I used to work with a girl. Her name's Sarah. Her name was Sarah. And um, she hated the holiday time. And it's because, you know, she didn't have any family to really celebrate. So I know there are a lot of people who are like her. So I try to keep people in a good mood. You know what I mean? Because I know what it's like. Me and my family are pretty separated and divided as well. So I'm here if you need somebody to talk to for Christmas. Don't feel like you're alone. You're not. You got your angels with you. Your ancestors with you. You know what I'm saying? Um, I hope all of you guys are doing well. Your pets, your loved ones. And um, welcome to Miss Hawaii Tarot. If it's your first time here, welcome. If you're coming back. Welcome back. It's so good to have you back here to be exchanging energies with you. Definitely check out that description box when you get a chance below. There's a lot of information there as far as how to book a personal reading with me. Um, there's also information as far as um, all my social media if you're interested. Facebook, Instagram, all that good stuff. And then there's um, also an extended reading link if you feel like this reading is resonating with you. I will continue it over on Vimeo. If you're interested in purchasing, I will do a full spread on your person. See how they feel about you and what actions they'll be taking moving forward towards you. Okay, Gemini? So definitely check that out. Shout out to all my members. If you're not a member yet, make sure you click that join button to get membership access. And um, don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe, please. I would greatly appreciate that. That just shows me you care and you support the content. All right. So let's see what's going on with my Gemini's. How's Gemini feeling in love? First card is always the strongest. Oh, what we got there? Queen of Pentacles. Okay. I fucks with it. I fucks with it. That's a great card to get in a love reading. Um, you're grounded. You're strong. You're independent. You're doing the damn thing. Oh, we got the four cups though. Okay. Oh boy. Why is the four cups here? Four cups is a card about... Being unhappy in a connection to a cups. Wow. Okay. Interesting energy. So I'm seeing a connection you have with somebody, but something here got you discontent with the four cups. See, you care about this person a lot. Wow. Ten of Pentacles. Oh yeah. Some of y'all have kids with this person, or you want to. <laughs> Five of Swords tried to pop out. Let's see what else we got for my Gemini's. Interesting. You know I have Gemini in my chart, right? I have Gemini and Lilith. Thought that was very interesting. King of Wands in reverse. Some of y'all dealing with a fire sign. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. The Strength card. Leo energy. Wow. The nine of swords in reverse. What is going on here? One last card. I'm seeing a baby. Somebody here has a baby. Cute little baby. Then we got the king of pentacles. Okay. Okay. Overall energy is the judgment card in reverse. Mm, what's under that? Four of Wands, Hangman, Three of Wands in Reverse. 
this is interesting here because I see a match here. I see a king and queen of pentacles. So there's somebody here you're coming up as a match with, but then we got a king of wands here on, other, on over here. Who, who is this other person? Hmm. Make sure this is nice and straight for y'all. Um... Sorry, y'all. You know I'm kind of OCD about the table. I like for it to be straight. Come on, table. Come on, move. Come on, table, move. Oh, sorry. That's good. Okay. Um, I see possibly a marriage for some of y'all. Like, I feel like it's it's exerting a lot of strength for you. Like, you're using a lot of patience in this connection with this person you're dealing with. But I see a strong connection, but I feel like something here got you discontent. Some of y'all, this is somebody you're actually married to already, or you've been in a relationship with them for a while. Or um, you live with this person. I see the bond, but I just want to know what's up with this King of Wands and reverse energy. Something here is causing you to exert strength. To have to be patient and restrained here. But you got a match. Queen and King of Pentacles. Some of y'all dealing with a Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Or you could be dealing with a Leo, Aries, Sagittarius here. All right. And then you got Judgment card in reverse. So let me go ahead and clarify some of these bad boys here. Okay. And figure out what's going on. I'm going to use my new mermaid tower deck. I love this deck. It's so pretty and colorful and powerful. Don't forget personal readings. You can email Miss Hawaii Readings at gmail.com. Okay. It does take one to two weeks. I do also have... Um, uh, expedited readings where you get the reading within 24 hours or by the next day um yeah so definitely email me if you're interested in that and don't forget there's an extended reading link below if you're interested okay ah, ah. all right let's see this queen of pentacles here The page of pentacles in reverse with the lovers there's your major arcana card this is definitely you you definitely are in love with somebody there's definitely a strong connection but sometimes you either feel like this person is distracted or hold on y'all let me fix my tape on them fucked it up Something about this person is coming off like they're either distracted or not giving you the attention sometimes you want. Sorry, y'all. I had to fix my table. Yeah, like I feel like something got you feeling like this person is distracted or they're not giving you the attention you want. Or something like that. Let's see. Show me the Four of Cups. The Queen of Swords. That's you. With the Chariot. Cancer Energy. I feel like, yeah, you, you feel this intense connection and pull for this person. But you're also starting to feel a certain type of way. I feel you are unhappy. Like something here got you not happy currently and I feel like it could be sometimes this person either goes cold on you or something about this person makes you feel either rejected or like sometimes they're not giving you the attention that you deserve show me the two of cups please can we clarify the two of cups the nine of wands with the king of swords I feel like you want this person to open up a little bit more emotionally some of y'all this person is too like 
focused on business, career, or other things. You want them to just, you want more attention. You want more focus on you. That's what I'm getting. And I feel like you've endured a lot with the Nine of Wands here. This is my Wounded Warrior card. Especially it coming out on top of the Two of Cups. You've endured a lot in this connection. And you, you don't mind because you care about this person. You know what I mean? They mean a lot to you. Show me the Ten of Pentacles. The Knight of Swords in reverse. Sometimes there might be arguments between the two of yours. Seven of Swords. There could have been some deceptive, like some deceptive shit that went down between you and them. Possibly cheating, lying, betraying, or are hiding things from you. That's not for everybody. But I see like sometimes there are some arguments, but you're going to have that in a connection or relationship. Nothing is perfect. But I feel like um, some of y'all have something to do with like family, like somebody's family member kind of getting in the way or something like that. But um, I feel like overall, like you want this, but I just feel like you want a little bit more. Show me the king of wands in reverse. What is it? Why is this king of wands here in reverse? The eight of wands. Okay, that's communication with the ten of pentacles in reverse. For a specific Gemini, something going on with somebody's family. Like either this person's family don't like you or your family don't like them or there's family drama or something with money or something like that. That's not for everybody, but I feel like there could possibly be arguments between you and this person. Something here has got you feeling a certain type of way. Something here got you feeling a certain type of way. Let's see the strength card. And it's causing you to use a lot of restraint with the strength card and requiring a lot of patience. The queen of wands with the devil here. Capricorn energy. Something toxic here within this connection. For some of you, it could be a third party. That's not for everybody, but for some of my Geminis, there's a third party here. There's somebody here trying to fuck up your, your connection, your relationship. I don't know if it's somebody your person is fucking with or somebody trying to fuck with your person or somebody trying to fuck with you. Because your person look real good. You look good. You know what I'm saying? And then you got the devil here. So I feel like it's just a lot of, if it's not a third party thing, it's just a lot of challenges here between you and this person. Show me the nine of swords in reverse. A lot of challenges here. The death card in reverse. So Scorpio energy with the hangman. There it is again from another deck. I feel like you're just trying to leave it in divine timing's hands. Trying to see what your angels are going to bring of this. I see you not wanting to give up though. I don't feel like this is something, this is a relationship or connection you're done with. You're, it's over. I'm not getting that. I feel like you want this. The connection is deep. You care about this person a lot. They care about you a lot. You've been through a lot with them. I see this strong bond you have. I just feel like sometimes there are arguments or there's just a lot of disagreements or just something here that's causing obstacles in this connection between the two of you. And I feel like this could be a Scorpio you're dealing with with the death card here in reverse. I feel like you don't want this to end. You know what I mean? I feel like you just want it to be right. You just want it to be right. Let's see the King of Pentacles here. The Ten of Swords. With the Two of Cups in reverse. What happened? Betrayal. Um, cause it, sometimes the 10 of swords can mean feeling betrayed, feeling like defeated, feeling like it's just too much to handle, possibly an ending with the two of cups here in reverse, or just feeling like you and this person are different. Like something's going on here. You and this person are coming up as a match though, in the tower world with the king and queen of pentacles. You know what I mean? Y'all are a match, but there's, I just see a lot of issues between y'all. Some of y'all, it's a third party here trying to start trouble between y'all. For some of you, I'm seeing arguments, something up, some things about money, financial issues. I see somebody feeling defeated here. Wow. The devil is here again with the two of swords. And you see, in this two of swords, it's like two people battling. Do you see this? I feel like this is you and your person. 
and then there's the devil card again capricorn energy there could be some type of unhealthy shit going on here between the two of y'all hopefully there's no type of addictions or anything like that any type of drinking or anything like that or controlled substances but i see it i see i see there's issues here a lot of issues between you and this person but i feel like the bond between you two is strong i feel like you two should be able to to work this out for some of y'all you're holding something against this person from the past i don't know if this person has cheated on you in the past or they lied to you about something or they did something that you just are not over yet you know what i mean because when you when you continue to be with somebody whether you're married or a relationship connection whatever if you guys decide to let the past be the past and continue moving forward, you have to be willing to let go of the past. You can't hold on to something they did six months ago or a year ago and keep throwing it in their face. Now, this isn't for every Gemini, but I feel like I'm speaking to a specific one. For instance, if somebody lied to you about something, if your girl lied to you about something a year ago, y'all made it through it. Y'all, you know, she apologized. You forgave her. Y'all said y'all was going to leave it in the past. You cannot keep throwing up that lie in her face a year later and, and, and now it's causing drama. You get what I'm saying? If there hasn't been no issue, you say you was going to forgive them and leave it in the past, you have to do that. So I feel like for a specific Gemini, that's, your, that's, that's the issue with you. You have to let the past be the past. Now, if they doing the same shit they promised, <clears throat> excuse me, they weren't going to do, then I have an issue with that. I have a problem with that. You know what I'm saying? Like, for instance, your man could have cheated on you a year ago. Okay? You forgave him. He was drunk. It was a mistake. It'll never happen again. You've moved on. Yada, yada, yada. And then fucking a year later, you having the same issue? No, I have a problem with that. You have a right to still be mad. You know what I mean? So, um... Let's go ahead and look from another deck. See, the eight of coins dropped out. I feel like you've really done everything you can, Gemini, to make this connection work. I feel like you've done everything in your power here. All right, now let's see. How does Gemini feel about this person? Some of y'all, this person got a temper. That's not for everybody. How does Gemini feel about this person? The devil in reverse. Oof. A lot of devil energy. Some of y'all dealing with a Capricorn or you surely got Capricorn in your chart. The world in reverse. You see? Something here got you feeling incomplete about this connection. Death. My God, you got four major, you got three major arcana cards. Death, the world in reverse, the devil in reverse. One more card, please, for how Gemini feels about this person. What the fuck is going on here? Queen of Wands in reverse with the Hierophant. Some of y'all are actually married to this person. It could be a Taurus you're dealing with. Wow. This person did something to piss you off for some of you. But you got the death card here with the world in reverse. It's like it's over, but it's not for some of you. Some of y'all, I'm telling you with the Queen of Wands here in reverse, some of y'all just got something to do with another man, another woman. Trying to stir up drama in y'all connection. Three major arcana cards here. Death card, Scorpio energy, Capricorn energy. I feel like it's not over yet. I feel like it, it's over, but it's not. It's weird. And then you got the devil in reverse. Like you're trying to keep it toxic free. You're trying to keep this energy toxic free. Like the devil out of this energy. Like you don't want this to be unhealthy. You don't want there to be any type of toxic shit running through the veins of this connection. You don't. But some of y'all feel like it's over with the death card. Some of y'all feel like it's over. I mean, the death card is also about endings and new beginnings. 
So perhaps some of y'all kind of wanted to want to, you know, put death to the past and move forward to start anew. But I'm telling you, this Queen of Wands in reverse, something here got you upset or got somebody upset. Why is the Queen of Wands here in reverse? The magician with the Queen of Pentacles. There you go again, male or female. It's like you've been trying everything in your power here to make this work. And it's pissing you off for some of you. Why is the death card here? Why is the death card here? The two of pentacles in reverse with the ten of swords. Wow. You feeling defeated. Like you've tried everything you can here. Why is the world here in reverse? The three of wands popped out. Like you're waiting. Like you don't feel like it's over. Why is the devil card in reverse? Wow, what a reading, Gemini. The king of cups. You love this person. With the eight of wands. You love this person. But you want it to be a healthy love. Trying to wait it out. Some of y'all feel like it's over because you feel like your person can't manage it, can't can't handle, they can't control. No, I'm sorry. Some of you feel like it's over because you feel like this person can't juggle this connection. Like they're unable to handle it. But I see how much you love this person. Wow, this is deep here. This is deep, Gemini. All right, let's go into the extended. This is deep. I'm getting a lot of deep reads within the last few days. Um, I don't know if it's the retrograde or what. <laughs> but let's go into the extended now, Jim. All right. <sighs> We're going to look at your person now. Do a full spread on your person. See how they feel about you and what actions they're going to be taking moving forward towards you. And I'll also pull some love oracle advice cards for you as far as how you should move forward with dealing with this person. Because I see the strong connection you have. Y'all coming up as a match. But I see issues here. I feel like Ten of Pentacles is like, it's like y'all, it's like y'all could be so good. You know what I mean? But I just feel like there's some shit here that just needs to be handled. You know what I mean? And I see how discontent it, it's got you right now. But I see you holding your head above water. I see you managing. I see you you managing it, Jim. Um you know, staying grounded in all of this. So yeah, let's go into the extended now. Thank you guys for watching. The link is below. If you're interested, I will see you guys over on Vimeo. Don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe, please. I appreciate all of you. Have a merry, 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 merry Christmas. And I love you guys. And I will see you guys in the extended. If not, I'll see you guys next time. Be well. Enjoy your holiday. Love you. Bye.